covered. The ongoing shortage of health care workers has been impacting hospitals throughout the pandemic. But now it's also affecting schools. News 10 ABC's Capital Correspondent Emil Talishi telling us more about how one local school district is navigating a shortage of nurses. For the Niskuna Central School District located in Schenectady County, there is a total of 11 nurse positions for eight schools. Tim Fowler, Assistant Superintendent of Pupil Personnel Services, says five NISTI schools are fully staffed and three are still in need of nurses. It's been a challenge. We're experiencing some of the same challenges that are impacting institutions all across the state, you know, which is stemming from the nationwide shortage of school ner of nurses in general. As a way to alleviate this, the school has put out information through their Parent Square app, which the community has been responsive to. We've seen folks volunteer to be added to our substitute nurse listing, and our board has been uh, very creative and supportive in terms of where we don't have enough sub nurses in the area. We've been able to supplement that coverage with temp, uh, temp agency support. Fowler says one reason that could be contributing to lack of school nurses is competition with traveling and hospital nurses making higher salaries. It's more about finding folks that are looking to work with students, looking perhaps for uh, favorable hours that are more traditional. Fowler says one benefit to being a school nurse is that you get to support and work with students of all ages. Working with the little ones, ele elementary school nursing, a school nurse, you are a rock star. So immediately you're going to experience a lot of love and being able to support a student in need, whether it is a medical crisis or they're just frequenting the, the health office to get their, their daily medication. Having someone warm and friendly on the other side is, is so important. And when it comes to the overall nursing shortage, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says the population surge from the baby boomer generation has led to the highest number of aging patients and a large number of nurses heading for retirement. In Albany, Amel Talaji. Well, today is World Mental